friends blessings good morning this is pastor ben lim here and this is day two of prophetic fire i'm so excited because god's on a move uh, of course and uh he's looking for people who will agree with him here on the earth amen and uh, i'm so excited because uh in a few minutes we're going to bring up the woman of god prophetess agnes abedi and she is a powerful voice uh, I believe that she's a carrier of the glory of God. So it's going to be wonderful. Listen, I want you to give us some hearts, likes, do share, share, praise God. Give us some hearts, likes, do share. Let me know where you're watching from. Comment below where you're watching from. Praise God. And uh, I can't wait to uh, give you some shout outs here. Amen. So give us some hearts, likes, and do share, share. And uh, once again, I want to give some announcements tomorrow. So let's say tomorrow, which is Wednesday. It's day three of Prophetic Fire. Tomorrow we have... Evangelist Matt Cruz, one of my favorites, good friend of mine, Matt Cruz, hero to the Gen Z millennial generation. So we got Matt Cruz tomorrow. And on Thursday, we have Brother Marcus Rogers. Amen. I'm telling you, uh, a few weeks ago, the Lord put it on my heart to do a prophetic fire broadcast on Facebook, inviting certain prophetic friends and ministers of the gospel so that we could release the fire of God in this season like never before. Amen. So uh, go ahead, give us some hearts, likes, and share. And also, uh, I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, God is really blessing our YouTube channel, and great things are happening there. I'm loving the traction and the feedback that we're getting on YouTube. So go ahead, subscribe, benlimglobal.com on YouTube, or benlimglobal at YouTube, benlimglobal. And, uh, you know, you could follow more of our prophetic videos and, and things of that nature there. Benlimglobal on YouTube, amen? And also, remember, people of God, I don't know if you saw the video last night, but God is moving. We're doing a seven-day crusade in Los Angeles. Listen, crusades are not just for Africa. It's not just for India. Crusades of soul winning and gospel preaching signs, one of the miracles. Someone say miracles. We're doing it, all right? And uh, we did it last night with Evangelist Ankit Rambabu. Powerful. My gosh, the glory and the power of God came in like lightning rods. I actually prophesied that in the introduction and transition. Uh, but listen, we're doing a live in-gathering at on-location event. We don't believe in devils or social gathering, uh, social distancing. Uh, we believe in gathering. Amen. We, the ecclesia of the church, the saints of God, we must gather locally and assemble more than ever before. So, you know, friends have flown in from Nicaragua, friends have flown in from Seattle. People have come in from all around. It's incredible. So join us. Listen, we're going to be live again today at 7, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven days straight, the Festival of Miracles. All right? So I'm saying, Matt. So go ahead. We want to see you. We can't wait to see you. And we invite you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me give some shout outs. And then uh, in a minute, we're going to bring the woman of God, Agnes, Prophet Agnes Abedi on. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Child of Most High. Amen. Diane Neo. Amen. Prophet Sivana. Uh, Alana, blessings to you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hello there, Stephanie. Yes, blessings to you. Sachin, India. Linda McCourt, blessings to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me know where y'all are watching from. Rabande skarabroska, ramande skarabroska. Rabande skarabroska, ramande. Shoo, karamande skarabroska. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hello there, Patty S. Cheyenne Baluyut. Wonderful. Yes, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We welcome you. Give us some hearts, likes, and do share. 
Hallelujah. You can even write that in, in the tab there, Deborah. Praise you, Jesus. Well, amen, people of God. Listen, I want to bring on the woman of God, Prophetess Agnes Abedi, onto this wonderful show. Amen. So go ahead, everybody. Let's give some thumbs, hearts, and likes as we have the woman of God come on right now. Praise the Lord. Hello there, woman of God. Blessings to you. Mute. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, I do. I hear you now. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for the invitation. I am honored to be to be here. Uh, I definitely, you know, I always say this preachers call me dime a dozen, but uh, definitely to see the, the integrity that you walk in and uh, the anointing that you walk in, I could tell that, you know, it's take, you've paid a price for it and uh, always honored and, and admired your ministry from a distance. So it's actually a, just a privilege to be able to do this with you. Uh, amen. Thank you for those wonderful, kind words. Uh, we love you, woman of God. There's been some great traction uh, with your ministry. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of weird and phony people on social media, but you're definitely yes. not one of them. And <laughs> I, I, I will coin the same thing uh, about you, woman of God, that I know that there's an integrity and an intimacy with the Lord that you have and you carry. So we're so glad uh, to have you. This is a, our first time really doing anything together. So, uh, so glad, so glad, God. So God bless you, woman of God. You know, uh, you know, we're we're living in such interesting times right now. We need the fire of God, yes. like never before. And of course, yes. you're from Nigeria. I've never been there. I've been to Africa many times, but we know that the fire of God is what kills and destroys devils and all demonic activity. That's and right. there's way too much demonic evil activity going on right now isn't there but we know that the fire of god's being released like never before in this time and in this season how yes. important do you think it is for the fire of god in this generation oh i think it's extremely extremely important you know uh the work the lord told me we are at the verge as the body of christ we are actually in at in great times we're actually in our finest hour i know it doesn't seem that way because they're the enemy is so nervous, you know, uh, Bill, pa Pastor Bill Johnson says something. He says when the enemy tries to give his worst attack, it's not his best move, it's his most desperate move. And mm -hmm. so he's desperate because he knows that he's losing the battle and God has won the battle. And so the Lord has been speaking to me that we are actually standing at the verge of a great, a yes. great awakening. The church is standing on the verge of a great awakening. And just like on the day of Pentecost, when the fire of God, they could not go out of that room mm -hmm. until the fire of God fell. And the Lord said, just like Pentecost, just like Azusa, the church is standing at this brink. It's almost like the word of God, because the word of God says that the earth is on tiptoe waiting for the manifestation mm -hmm. of the power of God, the manifestation of the sons of God. The earth is standing at tiptoe and they're waiting. It's like the church is in travail and is about to give birth. That's where there's been the pressure. That's why there's been the tension, like the woman that is pregnant and the baby is about to come forth in the birth canal. And so the fire of God is important because until the Holy Spirit fell, you know, Jesus said that you will receive the Holy Ghost in power, and that's yeah, how yeah. you invade earth. And so I believe that once again, the power of God is going to fall. The fire of God is going to fall in very strategic meetings, in very strategic, you're talking about gatherings. Those strategic gatherings were foreordained by God to release the fire of God that will propel us into the awakening that he has destined for the earth in this hour. Wow, wow. Amen. I agree with that. And, uh, you know, there's something that God has put, uh, you know, in your spirit uh, for a now word. And I can't wait uh, to talk about it right now. But people of God, I want you to share right now because there's some people, some friends and some enemies, uh, you know, on your Facebook <laughs> uh, that need to hear this. So uh, we want you to share this and invite some people, tag some people, because they need to get hit with the fire. Some would say fire. But, you know, uh, woman of God, right now there's... There seems to be so much unrest. There mm -hmm. seems to be so much uh, movement. I mean, it's actually movement. It's it's God shaking and exposing things in the spirit and in the natural. In fact, today I just saw in the Facebook memories, one of my posts that I posted from years ago, uh, this is what the Facebook memory uh, post says here. It's so good, which is just in line with what we're talking about. Uh, the Facebook memory says there's a rest in the war. The Lord mm. is putting all of your enemies to rest. And yeah. according to the word, you know, uh, you know, I'm reminded of Ephesians chapter 122. The Bible says God placed all things under his feet yes. and appointed him to be head over everything for the church. 
Mm. All things are under his feet. And I believe right now this is a season where God wants us to understand that we have dominion over mm -hmm. the natural things and the supernatural things, that we are a supernatural people, a supernatural church. We That's don't need right. the permission of man. We don't Come need on. to wait for a move of God. But we move and the cloud begins to accompany us and follow us with signs and wonders, with yes. the evidence that we are called by him. So yes. I believe that this is a season where we need to push. We are pioneers. We're apostolic, prophetic people. Come we're not on. losers, but we need to push. We need to go after the glory. We need to go after God and yes. watch the hand of God follow suit. That's but right. again, dominion, this word of dominion. And I believe that God is anointing his people mm -hmm. to exercise dominion on the earth right now in midst of the war and the unrest. Go ahead, a woman of God. That's right. I believe that. I believe that this is the time. You know, the Lord has been speaking to me. It's so interesting about uh, David and Goliath, you know, because Goliath was basically a demonic force. I know he was a person, but literally representative, a, a, a hatred. Goliath had a hatred against God. And the Lord said to me that he is raising up a David generation yeah. because <laughs> David was able to stand in that field and say, who are thou, O uncircumcised Philistine, that you come against the armies of the living God? A nation was trembling. A nation was in confusion. Even the kings didn't know what to do. And David said, no, I know that the God that I serve, the God of heaven's armies whom you have defied, I am mm -hmm. going to arise and I believe I'm going to cut your head off. And yeah, I heard the Spirit of God say that in this hour that those Davids are arising. Yeah, come on. They arise out of the church and they are going to cut up the head of every Goliath that has stolen yes, that has, that has who can stand against the Lord? <laughs> you might yeah. be able to stand against a human being, but who can stand against the Lord? Yeah. I hear the Spirit of God say many have even been battle weary because it's just been a, a year where the enemy has been. You know, a lot of uh, prophets were speaking the word at the end of last year. We didn't realize how literal that would be. Isaiah 60, I remember Doug Addison, Christy Johnson, a number of them that I love and honor were speaking that word, Isaiah 60. It's the year of Isaiah 16. It says, Arise and shine, for a light has come. But see, the next verse says, Darkness will cover the earth. And people did not realize how intense it would be. But I think we have seen that and we are seeing that play out. But we are the light that is arising. Yeah. We are the light that is invading the darkness. Hallelujah. The Lord showed me a vision. It's interesting because before any of this started, about a year and a half ago, but the Lord brought it back to me and He said, Now is the time, daughter, where that is beginning to get activated. I was in prayer one day and I had this vision and I saw this table and I saw just, it almost looked like it was um, like a, just a supernatural uh, gathering. It looked like there was angels everywhere. And I saw this table and it was just full of, there was a lot of festivity going on. And then the tables began to turn. And I heard the spirit of God say that the tables are turning. Uh -huh. Where many have felt uh, uh, the opposition of the enemy. I heard the spirit of God say he's going to take what the enemy intended for evil. And yeah, it is yeah. going to be our catapult where the enemy, like Joseph, was in prison, where the enemy is trying to silence and imprison the sound of the church on, and silence on. and imprison the Rabbi. sound of righteousness. When when the set time came, Pharaoh could not hold him. When the set time came, nothing could keep him from coming forth into where it is that God had sent him to come forth in. And so I hear the spirit of God say the tables are turning who overturned. The enemy has overplayed his hand. Mm -hmm. Even in a personal life, there are many people that have been contacting me. I mean, I'm facing unusual opposition. Many in the body of Christ have been feeling that way. Nationally, many have been feeling that way. Globally, many have been feeling that way. Even with some of the stuff with the government and politics and all of that going on, many have had this overwhelming sense of dread. And the scripture the Lord gave me one night, I think it was a few nights ago, I was praying about the earth and I said, God, what is on your heart? God has the prophetic voice. I want to have an answer. What is your response? And he said this simple phrase to me. He said, I sit in the heavens and I laugh. And I went into the scripture and the scripture says the hidden rate, the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth plucked against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us cut birds, their bones apart. But he sits in the heavens and he laughs. Why? The Lord will have them in derision. Means that God has already preordained the victory. Yeah. Yeah. God, like God has already preordained the victory. 
victory. In our cities, God has already preordained the victory. In our nations, God has already preordained the victory. And man of God, this is what I'm hearing, that there is a clarion call for the body of Christ to rise up and not be silent. There's a clarion call for the body of Christ, not just to rise up and declare on social media, which is powerful, but for us to rise up and go on our knees, for us to rise up and ask the Lord for apostolic strategy. Because I hear the Spirit of God say, I'm raising up preparers of the breach. I'm raising up restorers to, of the trees to dwell in. I'm raising up Debras. I'm raising up barracks. I'm raising up jails who can drive the tent peg into the skull of the enemy that has come. Now, I'm not talking about natural person, okay? So y'all don't do that and say, Agnes said. Okay, I'm not talking about we're not warring against a physical enemy, even though sometimes people can be possessed by demons, but we're getting to the root of the matter and we're we're fighting this thing from the realm of the spirit into the natural. And I believe that victory is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I heard the spirit of God say, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it's looked like in your life, in your family, in the nations, that this is the season of victory. Hallelujah. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, God prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. I love the translation that says, God prepares a table before us while our enemies are watching. Hallelujah. So I just love how God just kind of cranks it up a little bit. He's not going to put them away. No, they're going to be watching when the victory comes forth. I love the scripture that says in Psalm 18 verse 17, he says, God rescued me from my powerful enemy who was too strong for me. And I hear the spirit of God say many have been in unusual battles, even nationally, globally, we've seen unusual battles, obvious war, uh, righteousness against unrighteousness, light against darkness. And, and, and just like the psalmist, the psalmist faced many of, David faced many of those battles, but even enemies that felt too strong, hallelujah. And I love the scripture, Second Chronicles 20, because Jehoshaphat said, God, look at these armies coming against me, but my eyes are on you. And that Second Chronicles 20, 20 says, believe in the word of the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. So I believe that the word of the Lord that is being spoken through the mouth of the prophets in the season shall cause life, shall cause righteousness to be established in our nations. God is going to send forth his mighty hand. God is going to send forth his outstretched on and God is going to cause a generation. No, our generation will not bow the knee to Baal. No, our generation. People who say sometimes Christian, we are in a post-Christian era. I don't claim that. I believe that we are in a, a pro-Christian area era. We are in a we are in an era where Christianity is going to invade the earth in a realm like never before. And the word of the Lord says the kingdom of heaven from the beginning of time until now suffer so violence and the violent take it by force. So we are not taking no for an answer. We are taking it by force. We are getting on our knees. We're going in prayer and we are going to see personal victories. We're going to see corporate victories. We're going to see victories in the, in the seven mountains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm getting oh, excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prophesy. Oh, prophesy. <laughs> Incredible. Powerful. I say yes and amen to all of that. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Prophetic fire, you know, yeah. and that. Uh, incredible, you know, uh, right now, uh, God is flipping the script. You know, That's one it. of the words uh, that the Lord spoke to me, woman of God, is that God is flipping the script and the seats and the tables. Mm. You know, it's one thing for the tables to be turned, but it's another thing for the seats to be turned. Come on, God is changing the seating in the room right now, mm. and God is changing the seats. Remember, the Bible says that, uh, I'd rather. Uh, be seated with people who are righteous than wine and dine with the unrighteous, with the evil uh -huh. and the wicked. So God is about to change your seat. You're going from economy to first class. You're going into a yeah. new dimension, into a new place and a new realm. So yeah. God changing the seats. And again, once again, ACB, Amy Coney Barrett, she filled the seat. So God is removing certain things so he could fill yes. it with truth, yes. wisdom, justice, and righteousness. Yes. And also yes. overturned the tables of wickedness. What mm. did he do? In my father's house will be a house of prayer for mm. all the nations. But you've made it uh, into a den of robbers. You've turned mm. it into a, a church of marketing and a church of business. You turned oh, it into no. a temple of religion. And Jesus overturned the tables, and uh, which means corruption and a win because tables stand for deals being made. It stands for legislation that's being made. And God is overturning the tables 
and the seats and the script. I'm telling you right now, Amen. the seats of the Senate are being overturned. The seat, mm -hmm. he's unseating your enemies. He's changing the scripts as well. The story is not going to end this way. It's going to end better. I'm telling you, he's Amen. the writer. He's the Holy Amen. Ghost writer. And Amen. the script from beginning to end is going to be supernatural, marvelous. And you know what, woman of God, one of the things God spoke to me is that the head of Goliath are coming down. Why? Because 5781, one means uh, Aleph, which means mm. the ox, which stands mm. for ox anointing or it stands for heads of leadership. So mm. I began to prophesy. Die, saying that in this year 5781, God is raising up heads like David. Mm. God is raising a new oil of favor and prosperity and power and breakthrough on like mm. David. And God's going to use David to cut off the heads of corruption, cut off mm. the heads of wickedness, cut off the heads of pornography, cut mm. off the heads of pedophilia, of mm -hmm. all these types of things. So God's about to anoint you to cut off the heads of these demonic agendas. Amen. So an anointing right now. I can just feel the Holy Ghost. There's an anointing for you to rise up where you are and for you to take a stand of a leadership and for you to begin to move forth in the power and the glory of God. Woman of God, I want you to just pray into that because I sense there's an anointing of leadership where God is saying, I'm anointing many of you right now to stand up and to rise up, to take a bold stand, to come out of the boat, to do something that you haven't done before. There's an anointing for people to break through. There's an anointing for people to break out of hindrances and limitations. Manda, to break out of generational curses. Things where they've been stuck in and feeling stagnant in them. But there's an anointing for you to overturn. Come on. Remember, Jesus was filled with the righteous indignation. And he went into the temple. And he said, enough is enough. I need to do something about it. He said, I am the answer. I am the breakthrough. And things began to happen. So I feel like there's an anointing for that woman, God. Yes. So to begin to pray and release yes. it right now. Yes, hallelujah. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I just declare, hallelujah, that the fire yeah. of God is coming upon his people in a new way. For every yeah, single person watching the broadcast, yeah. for every single person who will watch on the replay, the Lord has been speaking to me that this is the hour of the overshadowing. Just like Luke 1, when Mary was standing there, hallelujah, in her strength, she couldn't do it. But she was about to birth the greatest phenomenon that yeah. the world mm -hmm. had ever seen. I believe that right Right now the church is pregnant and the church is about to birth the greatest phenomenon in a sense that has ever seen the greatest move of God greater than Azusa, greater than Browns, oh, no. greater than all the revivals of the past. And right now I declare just like Mary said, how is this going to happen? And the angel said the spirit of God will come upon you and the power of the most high God will overshadow you. If you're watching the broadcast right now, give me a hands up emoji because I declare in Jesus' mighty name that the overshadowing power yeah. Oh, yeah. Of God, Reba Baba Sata is resting upon you right now. I've really felt like the enemy has tried to muzzle. In fact, you know, talk about the mask, and you know, I mean, I obey the laws. I don't want to be put out of buildings, so I wear one, you know. But but I feel like it's even a demonstration of the enemy trying to muzzle, uh, muzzle the body of Christ, muzzle the people of God, and I just feel like even many. Have Felt like their voices has been muzzled. Man of God, it's so interesting. The Lord just brought this dream back to me when I was praying into this broadcast. I went to sleep and I had this dream. And in the dream, the enemy was trying to steal something from me. And I began to, uh, I was trying to lift my voice and my voice, it's like it was muffled. And I woke up and the Lord said, pray and break the muzzle, break the muzzle. Oh. So right now in the name of Jesus, for every apostolic voice watching, for every prophetic voice watching, for every son and daughter of God watching, I declare that the, the, the muzzle is broken off yeah. of your mouth in the name of Jesus. I declare that God has giving you a voice and it shall be heard. I declare in the name of Jesus that there is a glory invasion that it's taking mm. place, that we are invading at several mountains. I declare that some of you watching, you will invade Hollywood in the name of yeah, Jesus. Yeah. I declare that you will invade the government in the name of Jesus. You will invade systems of education in the name of Jesus. You will be as those that will turn the world upside down in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the fresh fire of God to fall upon you even right now. Some of you're going to begin to feel fire oh, in your heart. You're going to feel 
around your tongue. I loose the fire of God over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Where some have just felt lulled to sleep. Man of God, I just feel like many have been just feeling lulled to sleep. Almost like just a spirit of lethargy. I break it yeah. in Jesus' oh. name. I sound the alarm in the realm of the spirit. And I declare, awaken, watchmen, awaken. Awaken and give him no rest until he establishes the uh. land in righteousness in the name of Jesus. I declare that there is an awakening in the name of Jesus in your spirit. And you will you will do and be all that God has called you to do yeah. in the name of Jesus. Wow, my God. Oh, my God, as you were prophesying, I saw the angel of the Lord, like in the book of Isaiah 6, where the angel of the Lord took coals from the altar, coals of fire from the altar, and uh, is beginning to anoint people's mouths. You know, of course, this is the year of the mouth, not the year of the mask. Yes. The year of the Come mouth, on. It's the decade of the mouth. It's the decade of pay. Yes. Which, which is has all to do about prophets and apostolic evangelistic uh, declaration, decree, proclamation. Come on. Yes. Listen, the prophets have said Trump will triumph. Come on now. It's Amen. the year of the trumpet. Amen. And, uh, you know, I see right now angels grabbing the coals of fire and anointing people's lips, mm. signifying and saying, on this day, Mm. You will begin to speak the words of God, the oracles of the Holy Spirit. You will become a divine mouthpiece mm. where the mysteries of Yahweh will begin to be translated and encrypted through your mouth. So mm. I'm like that there is a messenger anointing where God is saying, who will go? Who will go for us? Who will go? And many on this broadcast right now, you're saying, I will, Jesus. But the Lord is about to sanctify your lips. He's about to sanctify your mouth. For God says, just as I spoke to Moses, and Moses was afraid, and Moses was frail, and Moses was stuttering, stutter, 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 stutter. and said, the, the, the Lord, I can't speak before a large group of people. I'm nervous, God. And God said, I made the mouth, and I will cause you to be like God. I will cause you to be a mouthpiece unto the generate. Let my people go. And Come God on. is raising up the deliverers. Come God on. is raising up people like Mose. What do you mean Moses in the Hebrew word needs to be drawn out of water. Most they need to be drawn out of the deep waters. God says, I'm drawing you out of the deep waters because I'm about to use you to cut off Leviathan. I'm about to use you to speak the prophetic word of God. For there's a sword in your mouth, says God. For God says there's a sword in the mouth of Jesus. And he's a man who speaks with eyes of fire. And in this day and in this season, when you speak, it will cut. When you speak, it will incision. When you speak, it will burn. God says, I'm ready. He's in a prophet of fire that will speak and preach holiness, just like John Wesley in the days of the second awakening. In the days of the first great awakening in America, when you preach, people will drop down. When you preach, people will literally drop down like flies. When you preach, the power and the glory of God will fall so strong that people will begin to manifest. People will begin to shake. Demons will begin to be free because the power is released through your mouth. God said, let there be. We say right now, let there be. I yes. declare there is a new way. There is a new generation. This is a new day. This is a new era. Roboska. And God says that I'm about to release an unction in your mouth to begin to break the chains of people in the mighty name of Jesus. So komate robosoto mandereke. And I'm bringing help. I'm bringing you into a prophetic company. Many people want to you felt alone. You felt like a lone ranger. You felt outcasted. You felt kicked out. Don't worry. Be of cheer. Be of good heart because so was Elijah. But the Lord put him in a company of 7,000 that have compromised, that have consecrated themselves. God is raising up an Elijah company on the earth right now, both men and women, all ages. Roboska, go ahead, woman of God. Go ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I was like, okay, you were in my prayer time this morning because literally I heard the Lord say help is on the way. I literally yeah, heard him say that. I just did a broadcast in a private group for you. Just so when you said it, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. The, the Lord, Lord is confirming his word because the word of the Lord says one can put a thousand to flight and yeah. two can put ten thousand to flight. And so you are right. I believe that even though right now in the natural, it looks like there's division, even in the body of Christ, but the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, no 
don't want any uniformity, you know, for the purpose of sounding to please everybody. But at the same time, there is a remnant that the Lord is raising up who has not bowed their knee to yeah. build. Just like Elijah said, God, is there anybody left? And the Lord said, there's 7,000 that, yeah. that have not bowed their knee to build. Yeah. I declare in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even for those watching right now who are saying, I feel the need to connect to people. I feel like, and a lot of people say this to me. I feel like I'm in a region where the prophetic, there is no prophetic wind. I just declare in Jesus' name. The Lord has said to me that this is an Ezekiel 37 hour. The Ezekiel 37, it was not a dry bone. It was dry yeah, bone. Yeah, yeah. It was an army that had become dry. And the Lord began to say to the prophet, prophesy to the wind right now in Jesus. I feel a strong wind on this broadcast, literally on me. I feel the wind of the spirit of God. And I just release a fresh wind. I release a fresh wind. Breed on the slain. Breed on the weary. Breed on the burden. Let the yokes, God, even right now, let it break. Many are telling me, Agnes, we're just confused. Many even my mental have been under mental attack just with everything going on. Because if you don't know how to process it from the third heaven and you go into the second heaven activity, you can get really caught up and, and just in this place of turmoil. Yeah. So I break up every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Then I declare Jesus' powerful name, that just like Ezekiel began to prophesy to the bones, and suddenly bone began to come together, bone to bone, and the Lord said, prophesy to the bread. I declare, I prophesy that the breath of the oh, Spirit oh. of God is coming upon you. It's coming, and I prophesy to the body of Christ all across yeah, the yeah. world. I prophesy to the body of Christ in America. You will not put down your sword in this hour in the name of Jesus, but I declare in Jesus' mighty name that the wind of the Spirit of God is second wind, where many feel like they been running and now God will win and now we have to fight again. I declare you will not give up in the middle of battle in Jesus name but a second wind is coming upon you in the name of Jesus hallelujah and you will see the victory in the name of Jesus hallelujah My God. you know woman of God right now there, there's been such a great attack on the prophets and mm -hmm. on the prophetic movement of course mm -hmm. you know I we all know that God is shaking and cleansing purifying the prophetic movement listen and even the evangelical church movement, even the Pentecostal movement, you know, rest in peace, Bishop Harry L. Jackson, who passed away yeah, a lot. Of that's such a bad loss, but heaven has gained uh, an incredible son. Yeah. Uh, but you know, there's there's such an attack on the prophets right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a spirit of accusation. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, you're mm -hmm. false. Oh, mm -hmm. you're this. Oh, you're that. But there, there's a separation. We all know there's a separation happening right now. Mm -hmm. But God is saying that if you attack the prophets, mm -hmm. then you will reap a hundredfold that same mm -hmm. attack. And it's very, very sad because the Bible is very clear. Touch not my anointed and mm -hmm. do my prophets no harm. So mm -hmm. I want to tell you, all you prophets and prophetic people, this is the season of your reward. This mm -hmm. is the season of your promotion. doesn't matter what you've gone through, the attacks, the backlash, the harm, the foul spirit accusation. doesn't matter what you've gone through. This is the time of your setup and promotion and rewards. And God's about to bless you like mm -hmm. never before. So stand firm, stay your ground. And mm -hmm. just like the woman of God said, the winds are blowing and things are turning turning and changing in your favor. We speak yeah. divine turnaround and we yeah. speak divine upkeeping because God is about to bring you up right now. 24 hour turnaround. Yes. Jesus name. Woman of God right now, you know, the power of God is so strong right now. Yes, it uh, is. The power of God is so present on this broadcast right now. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I just feel like right now, you know, um, there, there's something else on your spirit that God put on. And I feel like, and it says, we need to close with that. Whatever the Lord's putting on your spirit right now. What, what do you feel like you, you, we need to do or we need to say? I just feel like there's some, you know, on you right now. Yeah, I, I just feel like the Lord has been speaking to me, Amos 9.13. And the Lord has been speaking to me about this suddenly. Hallelujah. And, and he's been speaking to me about the fact that uh, many have seen and experienced uh, a hope deferred, even concerning everything going on right now nationally. Uh, but even in personal lives, people have experienced hope deferred. And the Lord spoke to me. I went to the Lord about a month ago with I asked because I start praying towards the we know this uh, uh, as a prophet, uh, apostle of God, you know, about the probably after the second half of the year, we start asking God, what is the word for the next year? Because we want to start praying into it, declaring it. And so I asked him, I said, 
said, what is the word for the next year? And he said, don't be in a hurry. He said, I'm not done with this year yet. All and right. he said, they must 913. Hallelujah. For those yep. who have been experiencing hope deferred, God, on, why are you turning out this way? God, this is not what I thought. He said, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Everything will be happening at once. Everywhere you look, there shall be blessings. Yes. And so yes. the word of the Lord, the power of the blessing is literally what breaks the curse. See, the land has been suffering under travail because of the curse. Hallelujah. Wow. The, yes. the Lord is bringing an overturn, not only in personal lives, but in the land. Literally, the blessing of the Lord is, like you said, overturning the curse. So I just declare that over everybody watching that at once, that self Suddenly, that immediately, the things that the Lord had spoken to you shall come to pass, even before the end of the year, at its set time. And I declare over the nation that that this thing will not carry over and linger yeah, yeah. forever. In the name of Jesus, that what God has said will come to pass speedily and suddenly. In the name of Jesus. Wow. So, wow. so that God is not done yet. Listen, mm -hmm. it's not over. God is far from being done with this year, 2020. And as yeah. I told you, I prophesied that yeah. the last two months of this year, we're going to go out with a big bang. Remember, yes. Jesus says the last is the first. And yes. we're going to end this year with signs, wonders, miracles, and recompense. I'm telling Amen. you, we're about to end this year with a capstone anointing in Jesus' name. Yeah. Woman yes. of God, you know, overturn, overturn. Someone say overturn. You know, this is 5781. One in Hebrew stands for Aleph, which is the ox anointing. What yes. do oxes do? Oxes overturn the ground. God mm -hmm. is about to overturn the hard ground. God mm -hmm. is releasing an ox anointing, an apostolic grace to plow and to overturn the hard ground. And what happens when there's an overturning of the land of the ground? Mm -hmm. It becomes soft again. It becomes uh -huh. rich again. It becomes uh -huh. nourished again. So uh -huh. God is releasing an apostolic ox anointing to yes. overturn the ground, break curses, and to release blessings. Someone say, I'm ready to receive my blessings. Someone say, I'm ready to receive my promotion and my upgrade and overturning and a turnaround. Yes. And you say, wow, woman of God, so powerful. Listen, yes. I, as we're about to close right now, I want you to release a prayer right now. Okay, I want you to release a prayer over everybody watching. Mm. For, for because you know, as, as I'm hearing you talk, I, I'm discerning that again. You know, really, that there's a strong grace of Nate and, and Nate and Christy Johnson that they carry that that you have as well. Uh, mm. Very similar terminology and, and great, mm. wonderful. But I also know that you're also a times and seasons prophet. I, I yeah. feel that right now. You know, yeah. so I want you to release an impartation mm. of the oil of Issachar. To understand the times and the seasons over the people. Amen. Yes. We would not be bogged down with the confusion of the second heavens, as you said. Oh, but that we would be firm in the heavenlies yes. before the throne of grace, before the throne of God. So yes. I want to release that over the people right now. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I. Uh, it's so interesting, man of God. I read it. I read something you posted. Uh, it was some months ago, and I'm trying. I'm, go, I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, and uh, it, it was the scripture that says, um, "Give me one second, because I want to make sure." Because I heard, I saw that from you, and it really blessed me. And it's, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for having me on. Because I know after this will be will be done. Uh, but I want to declare Luke chapter twenty one verse twenty eight. He says, uh, "Jesus is saying," and I saw it on your page, and it just reminded. This was some months ago, and it gave me hope, uh, and it just kind of just revived my spirit. And he says, "And when these things begin to happen, lift up your head for yeah. your redemption yeah. draws near. Lift up your head for your redemption draws near." And so I just right now in Jesus' name, I impart upon you in Jesus. That's name the ability for everybody watching, for everybody who will catch us on the replay. I impart the ability for you to see in the realm of the heavenly. I impart, you know, uh, I, I heard a preacher say, We don't pray to heaven, we pray from heaven. I impart an ability for you to begin to legislate in the realm of the spirit, for you to begin to superimpose yeah, the yeah. will and the word and the plan of the Lord uh, over and against the 
forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I come against every type of demonic mental battle. Uh, uh, whose report will you believe? I declare that in Jesus' name, you will believe the report of the Lord. I declare that the spirit of faith will come upon you today because the word of the Lord says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I declare that the spirit of faith will come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. That the word of God says this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. If you don't have the faith for it, you can't overcome it. And so I just declare in Jesus' mighty name that the spirit of faith will come upon you to be able to overcome everything that comes against you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That the faith of God will cause you to declare a thing, to decide upon a thing based on what God said, regardless of what it looks like, to decide upon a matter and to declare it and see it be instantly established in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will have the ability in the name of Jesus to be able to see in the realm of the spirit, the set times of God. The word of the Lord says, and when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. I pray that the Lord will visit yeah. you yeah. in dreams, that the Lord will visit you even in visions in the name of Jesus and will speak to you about his set times and seasons and that you will trust in the word of the Lord above every circumstance, above what it looks like at Trump, and you will begin to declare from that realm of what God has said. And, and I believe that the future is destiny activated. The, the future is voice activated. The future, the future is lodged in the mouth of the believer. And I declare in Jesus' name that instead of going according to the tide of what the media is saying, that you will begin to go according to the tide and the rhythms and the realms of heaven, and you will begin to declare out of that realm what God has said, and you will see it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Right now, you know, I, I want to encourage everybody because this year is not yet over. This yes. election is not yet over. Your life is not yet over. I know you may feel uh, demised and you may feel down, trodden, but God is about to lift up your heads or you gain, or you ancient people. And he's about to release a glory. In this time like that before. Listen, people of God, you did not believe in vain. Your faith is not wasted. And your tears and your prayers have, have are not ignored. They've been received. And God, our Father, is about to show up and show off like never before. So this is the season of your reward and your promotion. If you believe it, say amen. If you receive it, say hallelujah. Wow, incredible. Well, man of God, we're so glad that you, you came on. Thank you so much for gracing us with your ministry and the yeah. prophetic grace on your life. You know, as we close here, I want you to tell us uh, how can people find you, follow you, anything, uh, you know, wonderful, interesting, exciting that's uh, coming up in your life and your ministry here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am on uh, Agnes. Thank you again so much, sir, for having me. It's just it's just an honor. I, I was walking around like looked like I was sucking on light bulbs because I was just so happy. I was like, yeah, you know, so uh, 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 just just uh, really, really honored. I really am. Because like I said, again, you know, uh, I can tell when a person has paid the price. And, you know, so it wasn't just a thing of, oh, a preacher invited you. But it's just I, I just get the sense that you paid the price. And, and, and I just want to say it's not going to go into a long prophetic word or anything. But uh, I just feel like God is saying you haven't seen anything yet. I know you've impacted the nations. You've seen so much. But um there's so much that God is about to do through you. I've been feeling that for weeks now, just even praying into this. There's so much that God, sorry, I know you told me to tell them how to find me, but let me just say this right quick. There's so much that God is about to do uh, through you. You are definitely one of the key voices and, and frontliners in this hour that God is raising up. I just see millions, millions and millions um, from all across the globe getting saved, getting healed, getting delivered. Um, and I just feel like God is saying, thank you for your yes. Thank you for your yes, because it's costly. Um, it's costly. It, it costs more than sometimes people see in the natural. Um, but the Lord is saying, well done. And the Lord is saying that, the, I mean, I know there's already acceleration and increase, but in the realm you've never seen before, even in this com next three years, uh, there's going to be just an exponential increase in a way that you have never seen before. You won't be able to keep up. Watch out. It's going to be so powerful. So anyway, let me come back and answer your question. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> Oh my God. Amen. You're welcome. Agnesibetty.com is my website and Agnesibetty on all platforms.
platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, I think I'm most on Facebook. I have a personal page. You can follow me on that. I do that my weekly miracle broadcast. And then I have my ministry page as well. You're welcome to follow me if you need a word of encouragement or a word from the Lord. So thank you so much, man of God, once again. We love you. Thank you, Prophet. I received that. We receive your ministry. Amen. And thank you for continuing to be a prophetic voice. Amen. Amen. So everybody, Amen. go and follow the woman of God, agnesabetty.com. And, and thank you so much. We can't wait Amen. to have you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. People of God, incredible, powerful here. Deborah, you could, uh, yeah, uh, escort our friend. There you go. Thank you. Wow, incredible, powerful. You know, God is raising up a woman of God uh, in such an unusual anointing, like Catherine Coleman, Amy Super McPherson, Juanita Bynum, Suzanne Hen. Uh, you know, the list goes on. Uh, Maria uh, Woodworth Edder, Henrietta Mears. And uh, this is a season, I've prophesied, I've shared it, where God is raising up the wonder working women. Remember, the roaring 20s of the 1920s. In midst of the boom of economy and in midst of a social cultural revolution, the catapulting trigger was the freedom of women, that women had the right to vote and that women began to have more freedom in culture and began to have greater opportunities in the work career places. And that catapulted the 1920s, the roaring 20s. We are in a Roaring Twenties movement era right now. And I'm telling you, God is raising up the wonder working women, such as ACB, the passing of RGB, Ruth, Gator, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG. That era is done with, and God is raising up a new era. Someone say amen. God bless you. This is Pastor Ben Lim. Remember, I want to invite you uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. We have Matt Cruz. All right now on Thursday, we have Brother Marcus Rogers. It's going to be incredible. Amen. It's going to be great. So go ahead and join us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Can you just put that uh, over there, Deborah, on the tab? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ben Lim Global. Okay. And even, uh, listen, we, I also have a new mentoring, group mentoring. It's called 7M Glory Equip. Okay. A new group mentoring. Uh, and if you want to get connected to the anointing, to the DNA that's on this life and on this ministry, join us. Go to BenlamGlobal.com. Okay. Or, you know, 7M Glory Equip. It's going to bless you. Listen, I love you. Thanks for joining on today. I hope you're encouraged on day two of Prophetic Fire. And I can't wait to even see you tonight at Costa Mesa Sanctuary Church with Evangelist Ankit Rambabu, the Festival of Miracles. God bless you. See you soon.